Good morning, everyone. Let me start out by thanking Barbara for that beautiful introduction. I am honored to be with you and to have the chance to speak with so many dealers across the country. As Barbara mentioned in her opening remarks, this has been a tough period for retail. Uh, perhaps that's an understatement. And you have much to be proud of having survived and continued to serve clients in creative ways during the pandemic, which uh, appears to be uh, in, in rapid decline here. I'm so pleased that my video, Selling Luxury, the 21 Essentials, has been the basis of your weekly sessions. And during this call, we're going to go deeper in what's next in your growth as a luxury retailer. So thanks again for uh, inviting me to participate. First, let me say that this is not a moment to squander. We've seen stimulus. We have pent up demand. And frankly, the desire to get out and shop and socialize is, is present. So we're dealing with a consumer that wants to spend. And they want to put the last year behind them, as we all do. The question is whether you're ready to step up your capabilities and really seize the moment. There's also this question of whether you will re-engineer your business based on what we've learned from this difficult period. I uh, certainly don't want to be someone that says I told you so, but I am going to say that because the, the, um, the need to get strong as a business, the need to understand the fundamentals of making your business more viable and more successful is really here. And that's not something we can sleep on. Now in your business, we talk about the holy trinity of luxury watches, but I want to explore that idea, the holy trinity from a slightly different angle during this call. So what's the holy trinity of building a luxury business? Well, it isn't product, as most people would immediately say, it isn't even brand, design, you know, any of those things, but it's understanding and approaching three disciplines in a nuts and bolts way every day. And that's what we're going to talk about. The three areas of focus are first, marketing. Marketing is about aligning with the desires, the challenges, and the problems of your luxury client and what they're feeling. And yes, luxury clients do have a problem. That problem might be they have something that they're not satisfied with. They have something that doesn't make them feel proud and excite them every day. They have something that isn't what they thought they would have in terms of a product. Now, sometimes these are unexpressed. Sometimes these are unknown. But you are in the marketing business every day to stimulate response based on those factors. So that's why in the Art of Grand Marketing Letter, we refer to the process as results-driven marketing. We're marketing every day, trying to align with that psychology of your buyer, their problems, their needs, their, um, their interests. And we want to find a way to stimulate like that. And we want some evidence that we're doing that. We're going to talk about how that happens. The next area of focus is selling. And your marketing should do the work in readying your prospects and clients to take advantage of your beautiful collection of jewelry. But the sales associate must get that potential buyer to travel the last mile. And this is about clarity. This is about addressing questions and concerns. It's about getting that person to take action. Now, I know in luxury, sometimes there is this view that you do not sell. But if you do not know how to elegantly and professionally make the sale, your store will close, plain and simple. Now, the third area of focus that we're going to talk about here is service. And this area can be misleading because, in my view, service is a component of the other two. I started out in the 
of training and seminar business teaching customer service. And I realized after a short period that service was really marketing and selling. So in providing extraordinary, unexpected service, you are marketing your business. You're setting up additional sales opportunities. So we're gonna talk about the process in all of this and specific language, the demeanor that your sales associates must have, the style they must have, and what you should be teaching them and reinforcing on a daily basis to distinguish your service. We're also going to talk about some specific questions that your sales associates should present during client interactions to create a path to a new purchase. Okay, so those are the three elements that we're gonna cover, the Holy Trinity. And let's now talk about your specific brand and a few ideas I wanna share with you about how you might seize the moment. 